Hello, you're welcome and let's enjoy solving this month's problem within the shortest time possible. So remember to watch this video up to the end. So let's now start with the solution. So on our solution that we have to the problem, we have 4 to the power of m, then again plus 4 to the power of m should give us 64. So in this case here, we are trying to find out the value for m. So how do we go about this one now? So because now we have two numbers that are literally the same, 4 to the power of m plus 4 to the power of m, so it is now proper for us to factorize them. So we can factorize it by now having 4 to the power of m into bracket 1 plus 1, close the bracket is equals to 64. So since we have uh, worked it out or factorized it that way, so we can now work out the bracket, so it shall have 4 to the power of m into bracket 1 plus 1 is 2 is equals to 64. So finally, we shall now have to divide both sides by 2 so that we remain with 4 to the power of m. So here now 4 to the power of m in this case shall now be equals to 2 into there now shall be equals to 32. So how do we go about it? Now that we get 4 is a base, m is an index, so 32 is a whole number. So it's difficult for us to express of 32 to the base of 4. So we shall introduce the log from both sides. So in this case now we shall have it as the log of 4 to the power of m is equals to the log of 42, or sorry, 32. So we have just introduced the log from both sides. So assume we have something like the log of p to the power of, of q. So in this case we shall rewrite it by having q log q log p. So let's express the log of 4 to the power of m in the form of q log p. So here now we shall have m m log 4 is equals to the log of 32. So in this case we shall now divide both sides by the by the log m. So by log 4, sorry, so now divide by the log of 4, so this one by the log of 4. The log of 4 and the log of 4 shall cancel each other. So now m value for m is equals to the log of 32 all over the log of 4, all over the log of 4. So we can still have to factorize this number by now having, so we shall now say that our m is equals to now we shall have the log of 4 multiplied by the log multiplied by 8, then all over here also the log of 4. So here we know that when we have the log of a, b, this one can also be written as the log of a plus the log of, of b. So when you write that equation, now we shall now have m is equals to the log of 4 plus the log of 8 then all over the log of, of 4. So in this case now we shall now say that our value for m is equals to the log of 4 all over the log of 4 then plus the log of 8 all over the log of 4. So let's simplify. So now our m in this case so the value for m is equals to 1 plus the log of 8 all over the log of 4. So we can simplify that and by saying that the value for m is equals to 1 plus, so the log of 8 can also be written as, so let's express it as an index. So when you have 2 multiplied by 2 is 4, then again 4 multiplied by 2, our value is 8. So in case as an index it is 2 to the power of, to the power of 3. So now we shall have the log of 2 to the power of 3 all over so we express the log of 4 as an index so 4 is 2 multiplied by 2 that is 2 to the power of, of 2 so now all over the log of 2 to the power of, of 2 so here now we shall now say that now our value for m is equals to 1 plus so this one the log of 2 to the power of 3 can also be written as 3 log 3 log 2 all over, in this case here now we shall have 2 
log 2. So all over 2 log 2. So let's now have it by saying that. So our value for m shall now be equals to 1 plus. So the log of 2 and the log of 2 shall cancel. Now we shall have 1 plus 3 over 2. So here now we can rewrite it as 1. Then we work out this fraction. We now saying that the LCM here shall now be 2. Then 2 to the power, 2 into, uh, go 2 goes into 1 is 2, and 2 times 1 is 2. Then plus 2 into 2, 1 and 1 times 3 is 3. So now our answer in this case is 5 over 2. So meaning that the value for m in this case, so our m is equals to 5 over over 2. So when you work it uh, as a, this one is as an improper fraction. So let us now confirm if this answer is, is truly correct. So there, our maths problem that we had, we have, we had something like 4 to the power of m plus again 4 to the power of m should give us 64. So in this case now, we shall now having, so 4 to the power of 5 over 2 then plus again 4 to the power of 5 over 2 because m we've got as 5 over 2 is equals to 64. So here 4 can also be written as 2 to the power of so here 2 to the power of 2 then close the bracket to the power of 5 over 2 then plus 4 into, as, as an index 2 to the power of 2 then into bracket to the power of 5 over 2 is equals to 64. So here now, when you work it out, 2 and 2 shall cancel. Now shall remain with 2 to the power of 5. So when you work out 2 to the power of 5, like here, 2 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, so multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2 again. So in this case, you shall have 2 multiplied by 2. Is it, This one is 4. Then this one is 4. So 4 times 4 is 16, then 16 multiplied by 2 is 32. So 2 to the power of 5, that one, that one is 32. Then again plus 2 to the 2 cancel 2, so we shall have 2 to the power of 5, that is 32. So 32 plus 32 is equals to 64. So what is 32 plus 32? So we shall confirm that when you work, add it out, is equals to 64 is equals to 64. So it means that we are very correct. When you say that our value for m, when you work out all of that problem, so you shall find that our value for m is equals to 5 over 2. Or when you work it out as an improper fraction, you shall get as 2 whole and 1 over 2. So these ones are the correct answer. So if you really felt that we've worked out in the correct way, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.